The latest question that I've been getting inside of Diablo Immortal is regarding skills and how to get our skills to last longer and refresh more quickly. We call this uptime. And what we want to have with any class that you're playing is to have as much uptime as possible. For me, I want to be able to stay on this horse for as long as I possibly can. As much uptime as possible. It gives me mobility, damage, and it's just the way that I like to play the Crusader. Every class has their skills that you want to be able to have available to you as much as humanly possible. And there are two ways that we can enhance this. And to be honest, it's not the most difficult thing. You just need to know what you're looking for and how to get it. And I'm going to share that with you today. There are two things that you are actually looking for. One is beneficial effect duration, and the other is your skill cooldown. So beneficial effect duration is going to allow your skills to last longer. The duration of your skills will last longer. And skill cooldown will shorten the cooldown of your skills. Combining the two allows you to potentially have 100% uptime. But how do you do this? How do you get these things? I'm going to share that with you right now. We're going to start off with the gear that you're wearing because most of this does take place within the gear that you wear. Starting with beneficial effect duration. There are two pieces of gear where you can attain this. One is going to be in your chest piece. Notice right here the magic properties. Beneficial effect duration is increased by 4.5%. That means my skills are going to last 4.5% longer. This is a decent one. You can get it up to 6% from what I have seen. The other piece that you can get this within is your legs. Notice right here, the magic properties of the legs. Beneficial effect duration increased by 6%. So with those two combined, my chest piece and my leg piece, I'm getting an extra 10.5% more uptime for all of my skills. But it doesn't end there. And this is where I could actually share with you where my build can personally improve. Because we could also go take a look at our boots. If you take a look at the boots, and we'll switch to another scene here so you can see a little bit better. We go to our boots, and you'll notice here, if I could get it to click on properly, it's not working. Come on now. Uh, hello. There we go. Maximum life and healing potion. I don't have any beneficial effect duration improvements here, but I can get them. I'm going to need to craft some more boots of the proper skill that I want or of the proper um, properties that I'm looking for, or I can just find some boots that have it, but I'll lose those set properties. I want to keep the Feasting Baron's pack properties on, on these boots, so I'm going to be crafting or trying to find a new magic property for the same pair of boots with these set properties. The same thing goes for your belt. Same type thing right here. Magic, item base life increased, damage taken reduced. Both of these pieces of gear, I can get beneficial effect duration enhancements, but I don't have them. So you can have them as well on your builds and maybe you already do. Just take a look at what you have there. But it is possible to get an increased beneficial effect duration on your boots, on your belt, on your chest, and on your leg pieces. That's where you focus on that. That's what makes our skills last longer. But how about that skill cooldown? Skill cooldown is going to take place in another few pieces of gear. One of those is going to be a secondary piece of gear. So we'll switch back over here. And that is going to be your neck piece or your necklace that you will wear. I don't have it again. Continual damage taken is decreased. I don't have the best magic properties on my secondary gear. I'm actually continuously looking for better and crafting more gear so that I could potentially get the magic properties, the, the skill cooldown, for example, on this piece right here you could also do this on your gloves which again i don't have skill cooldown on my gloves and you could do it on each of your rings so there's one and i don't have it there and here's another one i don't have it there either so when i take a look at all of my secondary gear all of my green items i don't have anything for skill cooldown and i don't have anything for beneficial effect duration that definitely hurts me and when I do get those, because I will forever craft them, we can improve that. There's also a gem which can help you with this as well. Let's actually head on over here and I'll show you exactly what gem will help you with your beneficial effect duration. If we come on over to the crafting station here, there is a one star gem that you can utilize. 
and it's actually one that many people do, it's right here. Increases the duration of beneficial effects on you by 4%. That's at rank one. I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe it goes up to like 20%. I could be wrong. But using a blessed pebble at max level will definitely increase your beneficial effect duration. The problem that I have with it is it then takes the spot of another gem that I really want to use. So I wonder, I'd rather try to get it with all of my gear rather than having to utilize a gem slot for beneficial effect duration when I could potentially get it with all the gear I'm looking for. Another thing is notice that I have one, two, three awakened slots that are not currently being awakened. You can also get a buff on your skill cooldowns like for here with my um with this piece of gear if i had a rank 10 gem in here as i did it would cut the cooldown down on my horse specifically by 10 percent that would have been enough for me to have nearly 100 percent uptime on my horse even with my build set as it is so awakening slots can cut cooldowns down on all of your skills as well so that essentially It'll help you have that 100% uptime with the beneficial effect lasting longer and the cooldowns lasting less. But how do you get this gear? How do you switch it and make it just more optimal for you? And this is something you could spend a lot of time over here. When you come on over to services and you go on over to reforge, you have reforge stones. I've actually used quite a bit of mine, but you could change what these bonus attributes are. Notice here I do already have beneficial effect duration of effects increased by 2%. Notice over here on this piece of gear, I have beneficial effect duration increased by two and a half. I have rolled this on every piece of gear that I have. Duration of beneficial effects increased by 2%. Over here, another 2%. Over here, beneficial effects, 2%. Over here, two and a half. 3% beneficial effect enhancement, and over here also another 2%. So if I wanted to reforge a piece of gear because I didn't have these attributes, all you would do is you would choose the one that you want to get rid of. So I would say, okay, let's get rid of this one, and I would use a reforge stone, and I would click reforge. It would then randomly roll a property that can be associated with me, and I could choose it or not. What you're looking for are the beneficial effect duration increase for all of these. You do have different stones, which will give you better chances at rolling this. So you could look into the details there to see which stones are gonna help you more. I typically just rolled the basic reforge stones. When you click on them, it, it shows you what attributes are the best and which ones you're gonna get the chance for. Actually, we could look right now, as I don't recall. Okay, it's this one right here. You're gonna wanna go with the jolt stone. It's gonna increase your chance of beneficial effect duration, and it can give you one of these from 1.5 to 3% enhancement. So I could even better my builds because I'm sitting with a 2% increase. I could, I could get that up to a three if I wanted to continuously re-roll. That's another nice way of grabbing it when you wanna do reforge stones on primary gear. But there is one other way. We talked about how my gear, my secondary gear really wasn't optimal. It was not the best for what I'm looking for. I was looking for beneficial effect duration, again, on boots and belt, and I'm looking for neck, gloves, and rings to get my skill cooldowns reduced. So let's actually take a look right here. I don't have it on any of them. So let's take a look at the gear that I do have. Which ones are really the worst? Should I really want to re-roll by, based on combat rating and based on magic things there too? Uh, I like the I like the gloves. It has a triple stat, so I'm going to most likely hold on to those. We could change out healing potion, maximum life. That's not great. Damage done. These are all like, okay. 625, 630. Let's actually try and re-roll the neck. Continual damage taken is uh, decreased by 8%. So we're going to try and roll ourselves an Awakener's Urge. We're going to try and craft this because we do have what we need. So let's go to set crafting. We're going to go to the necklaces and we're going to go find Awakener's Urge. Here it is right here. I have six Infernal Fabled Wisps version five and you only need five of them to roll. I have an extra. So let's craft it. Let's see if we can get what we're looking for. We got an exceptional Awakener's Urge. Maybe it's better one way or the other. Let's see. It's a triple stat. This only does hold two gems though. Movement speed is increased by 3% and damage done to players increased by 1.5. I did not get the beneficial effect. Actually, this one was for skill cooldown. I did not 
get that. I did get a lot more power here in attributes, and I did get a higher combat rating on this piece. This is a better piece. Although it's only a two socket piece, while this one is a three, we are gonna equip it, and we're gonna transfer the gems over. Now, I don't know how I feel about it not having that third gem. Let's actually unsocket the gem right now. And we're going to just remove it just so that it's not sitting in that piece of gear. And I'll make the decision if I want to wear that or not. You could let me know in the comments below if you like wearing pieces that hold three gems that are less in strength than the ones that wear two. In this case, the magic attributes, it really didn't matter. I do like the increased movement speed, though, so we'll stick around with that one at least for now. So now you guys know that really beneficial effect duration comes from the gear that you wear and the magic properties that those gears hold. You also know how to change the magic properties or how to craft yourself secondary gear to try and get those properties or how to use reforge stones on your primary gear to try and get your beneficial duration increase set as well. And of course, if nothing else, you can go with a blessed pebble and you could go right there and get your beneficial effect duration on everything that you use up by a lot and I, I'm sitting here and I'm trying to remember because I did have a blessed pebble I do forget what it was at that max level a little bit of research could have gotten me that answer right away but I will say in addition to that awakening your slots is the last way to cut down on skill cooldowns hope this guides you a little bit so that you can have 100% uptime on your skills in Diablo Immortal